What's up, everybody? This is Squiggy with the Music Experience and Loudwire's Gear Factor, hanging out with my man Christian from Stone Sour. How you doing, Dude, man? How you doing, man? I'm good, man. All I'm right, good. man. I know you guys are super busy, man, so we're just going to kind of hold you for a couple of minutes, man, talk some shit to you, man, and, and see how it goes, okay? Do what you must. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> Before you were a guitar player, uh, what is the riff that made you want to pick up guitar? Detroit Rock City. Really? Yeah, my first album was Kiss Alive 2. Was, it, was that also the first song you learned on guitar? The first, no, actually the first song I learned on guitar was uh, was Highway to Hell. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. So where were you at when you, when you first heard those records? Um, I was in my uh, I was in my grandma's house in in Jersey, uh, and I had an older uncle that was really upset when he found out Peter Chris wasn't in Kiss. Yeah. This was like 1980, I think I was three, and he gave me the Kiss Alive 2 album. Nice. And that was it. You're uh, part of the Zemitis guitar family. I I I, yeah. I, I, uh, I I love that brand. Greg's a really awesome guy over there. Um, what is it like to be a part of that family? It's, it's amazing, man. I mean, it's like, um, you know, when I think of Zemitis guitars, I mean, I think of like the classic rock stuff a little yeah. bit more, like the Faces and, you know, Keith Richards played one and, and one of my personal favorites, Mark Bolin, used a Zemitis. So, uh, you know, when, when I saw that they were making them again, they actually have been for a while, but when I was made aware that they were making yeah. them again, I was like, I got to get one of those and, um, you know, uh, my friend AC from the Misfits introduced me to Greg. Oh yeah. And um, and you know, I have I have two of those guitars out with me right now. Really awesome. Yeah, they're they're designated to one specific tuning uh, right now. Yeah. Um, for now, and um, I love them, man. They're awesome. Which uh, which model do you play? Well, I have the um, I have one of the metal front models. Yeah. And I have one of the ones that's just, it's just uh, wood with like a carved maple top oh, on nice, it. Nice. Um, and yeah, they're amazing. They're, uh, they're a 25 inch scale, so they're a little bit longer than my Les Pauls and yeah. they work really well in the lower tunings. Awesome. Uh, awesome. And I don't really, it's just cool. It's a very unique guitar, man. I love the metal front guitars. You can see them from a mile away, man. Yeah, they're amazing. You know, they, they, they look cool. They sound awesome. Pleasant you know? sun like this. I can blind people. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Well, man, thank you so much for coming by, man. Thanks yeah, for man. talking to the Midas, man, and talking first riff with us, man. And of course, so, man. Thanks for your time. This is Squiggy and Christian with the Music Experience and Loudwire's Gear Factor. Horns up. <laughs>